I'm extremely nervous. I hope I can't see them. I used to be the guy in the corner of the bar singing songs with his stereo and one man and his dog would listen. So it feels good to be nominated for an Anchor Award. To have such big names from the music industry watching me tonight will be terrifying. What's happening in Germany, you good? The whole premise of the Anchor Awards is that people are already playing this festival, they're working musicians, they're, they're getting themselves out there, and we go to their show. It's not like there's like super special treatment or anything. We're in the line and we're wrangling through. We make our way in, we try to get in early enough that we're all settled. To be honest, to be part of the Anchor Jury it has, has been really fascinating for me. Um, you know, when I was really a young artist, I was very judgmental and I was very quick to dismiss artists if they didn't make music that was along the lines of music that I wanted to make. And now that I've gotten older, um, my appreciation for musicians has, you know, grown. I build a home and wait for someone to tear it down. I won't see the jury probably, or will they have a sign saying I'm the jury? I think everyone here has really good credentials. They're all working people in the industry and they have very sharp perception. And uh, our discussions have been quite animated after each performance. I've got no roots for my We're laughing all the time to, uh, to a worrying degree. We've had to be separated occasionally at shows because we start to, to, you know, work each other up. So and we want to concentrate on what we're supposed to be doing. Well, yeah, we watch the show first of all, and um, everyone does that in their own way. You know, some people listen, some people watch, some of us do both. Before a gig, I will have to be on my own for at least half an hour, just thinking about stuff. I'll probably smoke about ten cigarettes. You take the words right out of me. She's a, a delightful songwriter and uh, she's got a very delicate voice. It's very attractive and uh, I think we all enjoyed her very much. And everyone brings something different to the table. Obviously, Tony is uh, a producer and a musician. Shirley, Emily and Boy, brilliant musicians who've carved their own musical careers. I'm just a DJ, you know, so I look for things that I think will sound good on the radio. Look into my eyes, I'm speaking without words, cause I could never say the words my heart says. It's very important to make music and do the stuff you do for your own sake, and then don't take other people's um, conception of it too too heavy if it comes down to being good or bad or being better than other or not. I thought it was really amazing to see someone completely commit to being who they are and bring that energy. When you're playing a show it's so intimidating and you feel the room observing you and then something happens where the music actually breaks that wall and people are just there together and that is something that they were able to do is break that wall. I think those guys Put it on the line. Well, I think it's great to focus, you know, the eyes of the industry on this collection of artists, and I, yeah, I believe in that concept. The Anchor Award uh, attracts all kinds of genres and all kinds of people in different countries. It gives a lot of people an opportunity to have this spotlight on on them. Some of it is stuff I wouldn't even dream of working with as a producer. Then all of a sudden I'll see one or two people in the Anchor Awards that are just phenomenal. Like they are today's David Bowie or Bob Dylan. Cause honey, oh my gosh, the truth, I dropped out to my knees for you. A broken hallelujah, begging you for sacred love. You can tell if an artist means what they're doing on stage, sings about plays. I'm looking for an artist who, in years to come, I'll remember going, I remember that night at the Reaper Band Festival. 
and seeing that performance. You want something that really sticks out. I want somebody to blow my mind. I, I, want, I want that wow effect. It's nice to be nominated and recognised overseas for something, you know. To be nominated as a newcomer is great. I just really appreciate it. I couldn't say I'm looking for this kind of music or for this style. It's, it's really more that you see a band or you see a musician and you feel that they've got something to say and they're not doing it to please anyone but just because they have to. And that's beautiful. Here I am, living with old ideas In a country at a last With a fetishizing boss She's a family gal with a family plan Laughing in the dispatch box As another protest laugh I once served Tony Visconti drinks when I was like working working in catering um, So I'm gonna, yeah, I might, I'm gonna ask him for a Heineken when I'm on stage No, I'm not, I'm definitely not It's some kind of animal instinct What we love, what we don't love I think we don't really think about it It's just something you feel in your body I can feel the air. There definitely are obstacles, you know, for every musician in every era there are different types of obstacles and also advantages. If you are that kind of a person, if you have a, a really deep sense of creativity and you want to reach a wide audience, you're going to have to do a lot of work yourself and make yourself available. Uh, to go viral will happen more easily than being signed by a label these days. Some people will never hear a brilliant piece of music because it doesn't get promoted or doesn't match up with an algorithm. Particularly now in this culture, artists are measured by how much they sell, how big their audiences are, how many people follow them on Instagram. And it's tedious and it's sick. So I see it as our job and I guess the anchor jury's job is to promote the good stuff as well and to highlight interesting music that's being made out there. I was singing along at one point and I'd never heard them before. Good night, my friends. The band looked like they were having fun and that they liked each other. That's very important. And I think the lead singer really engaged with the audience very well. We've been brushing up on our German. How do you say it's really fucking hot in here? He said, it's hot. What I love the most about that crowd is they all look you in the eye. T like, they, they all look you right in the eye. You know, not every crowd will do that. So you look them in the eye and they look back at you. It's very nice. We shouldn't underestimate the audience that there that exists for different people and the ability of a person to cultivate that. You know, if I don't like the group, but the audience goes crazy about the group, then I have to pay closer attention and see what it is they love, you know. That's an artist's job, is how do you reach the critical mass? And that's a mystery. And it seems now that it's only the pop bands that are able to do that because it's only the large distribution machines like record labels that get behind massive pop acts because they know they can make a lot of money. Some say it's a uh, stoner or psychedelic. Uh, you invented the genre bubblegum stoner. So that's probably our genre, I don't know. <laughs> because it's, it's stoner, but it's also very sweet. <laughs> Something like that. I felt like they were not trying to, to be hip or please anyone, but just express themselves with music. And I, I, I really love their songs and their energy. I thought it was really good. If you want to make serious music and yet you want to be on a label, you have a big problem. We're really only talking about a handful of people that'll get that opportunity. The record business has always been this way. There's 
a, a little door and it's opened a crack and there's a million people behind the door and only, they, only, they, they only let three people in, three or four people in. It's very, very hard to get through that little crack in the door. I'm in a band called Garbage and when we took a stand against our record label regarding compromise, creative compromise, we got dropped. We, you know, we lost our label and our deal and it was something that devastated us. You know, we're, we're recording artists is what we'd done for 20 years. We have never regretted the, the decision not to compromise because if you can't live with yourself, what do you have? Wrap your arms and hold me still I feel it's a very up until now thing that I'm releasing, you know, and almost it's quite the next thing I think I'm going to release is very optimistic and very like out there. And sometimes that's a job, sometimes music can be an escapism instead of getting too involved in, you know, the downsides all the time. We have been really lucky, um, first of all, to be two people with the same vision and I think that is already a strong like unit. We were really lucky to find partners that that share the same vision and who care about the same things. And I think that it's really worth it to wait until you find those people and not to just be excited about, oh, there's somebody who wants to put my record out. Let's just do it so we have something because it just stays forever. What you release is there forever. And I think it's just so sad if if bands look back and think, oh, we shouldn't have done that. It's it, We were forced into doing something. And mm -hmm. I think it's always worth to be patient and to wait for, for a good feeling. Is it any wonder Jade Bird is extraordinary. She has so many, so much depth to her uh, talents. It's not like a lot of people are a one trick. She's got many tricks. There has to be a certain kind of tenacity and determination and a desire to stick your fingers up to the mainstream and just be comfortable in that. You will be on the periphery and you'll be an odd man out and you have to be tough to do that. That's not easy. If you have that kind of credibility, uh, the Anchor Awards are one of the only games in town to have a, actually a, a, a spotlight on you. I don't ever believe, you know, that the winner is better than anyone else. I think the winner is luckier than anyone else, and that's a big difference. With regards to the Anchor Awards, I do believe that, again, in this current climate, and awards like this can really make a difference in an artist's career. And so therefore, I believe in it as a concept. It's our great pleasure to announce the Anchor 2017 Award going to Jade Bird. Yeah.